Gamuda's property arm Gamuda Land has inked a deal to acquire a 9.1 acre site in Tudok City in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, for approximately 315.8 million US dollars or 1.47 billion ringgit. In a filing to Borsa, Malaysia, the company said this mixed use development site has a projected gross development value of 1.1 billion dollars. It plans to develop 1,968 exclusive apartments, 12 penthouses, 51 podium shops and 21 shop house units across six towers of up to 40 levels, all fully developed and sold within five years. Angus Liu, chairman of Gamuda Land Vietnam's operations, said this was an opportunistic acquisition, which enabled it to obtain a shovel-ready development site in a prime location with all requisite planning approvals in place and rapidly sell in-demand products to a market short on supply. The company said the target positioning for this development will be in the high end category with a pricing range of 4000 to 7000 US dollars per square meter and that new properties within this category have recorded stable absorption rates of over 75% across the past 5 years according to Seville's Gamuda shares closed 0.45% higher to 4 ringgit 47 sen valuing it at 11.9 billion ringgit Malaysia has issued a license to Starlink, the satellite internet service started by tech mogul Elon Musk to provide internet services in the country, particularly in remote areas. Citing communications and digital minister Fahmi Fadzil, Reuters reported that Starlink, which is operated by Musk's SpaceX, would begin by providing its services to schools and higher education institutions. Fahmi was cited as saying that Putrajaya is also prepared to work with satellite communications firms, including Starlink, to ensure 100% internet coverage in populated areas. Around 3% of populated areas in Malaysia face issues with internet access due to geographical and infrastructure challenges. The report noted that Fahmi's announcement comes a week after Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim held a call with Musk to discuss his company's investing in Malaysia. Separately, Tesla unveiled today its electric SUV Model Y in Kuala Lumpur, with deliveries to Malaysia to begin next year. The rear-wheel drive model has a starting price of 199,000 ringgit. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim released documents pertaining to a government guarantee to Felda regarding a debt waiver for settlers that he had signed last month. This follows a letter of demand issued by one of his predecessors, Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin, which asked Anwar to retract his statements regarding the matter and to apologise within 24 hours. One of the documents shared was part of an assignment of the Financial Service Reserve Account or FSRA between Felda, Putrajaya and Amanah Raya trustees, which was signed by Felda Chairman Tan Sri Idris Jusuh, Felda Director General Dato Amiruddin Abdul Sattar and Anwar himself. The signing of the document was witnessed by Deputy Sec Gen of Treasury Investment Dato Anes Rizana Muhammad Zainuddin. In a statement, Anwar called on Muhyiddin to apologise instead. Separately, MOF said the FSRA is in relation to the government's guarantee of 9.9 billion ringgit to Felda to enable the authority to restrict its debts by strengthening its financial position through the issuance of Sukuk and revolving credit. It said Putrajaya will finance the repayment of the Sukuk by allocating grants of 990 million ringgit every year for 10 years. The first payment order was dated July 18, 2023. Ramsey Healthcare and Syme Derby have hired Bank of America and Deutsche Bank to sell their 1.3 billion US dollar, that's 5.9 billion ringgit, healthcare joint venture. A Reuters report said today, citing two sources with direct knowledge of the matter. According to one of the sources, the companies could launch the sale of Slangor based Ramsey Syme Derby Healthcare within the next two months, depending on market conditions. Both sources declined to be identified as the matter 
is private. The report noted the sale would mark the largest healthcare deal in Southeast Asia since 2019 and comes at a time when healthcare assets are attracting more interest as investors bet on the sector's ability to weather tough economic conditions. An earlier effort to sell Ramsey Sam Darby to IHH Healthcare fell through last September. Soon after, a KKR and Co Inc led consortium withdrew a near 15 billion US dollar offer for the healthcare JV. IHH had presented a 5.67 billion ringgit offer for Ramsey Sam Darby, but a binding agreement could not be reached. Deputy Finance Minister Wan Datuk Sri Ahmad Maslan says MOF Inc. companies have contributed 50.7 billion ringgit in dividends to the government for the financial year 2022. That's higher than the previous year's 28.1 billion ringgit figure. According to Bernama, Ahmad Maslan said the contribution needs to be continuously improved through proper management and governance and that the funds will be put into a consolidated fund for the purpose of development and financial assistance to be enjoyed by the wider public. MOF Inc. companies include Petronas, Amanah Raya, Cyberview, Felcra and Charikat Perumahan Negara. According to the report, Ahmad Maslan said among the MOF Inc. companies which contribute a low dividend percentage to the government are those involved in the provision of infrastructure and utilities. He said these firms face challenges and cannot raise the price of their services arbitrarily, citing Kreta Pitanah Melayu as an example of an MOF Inc. company involved in public transport. <laughs> 